Hello everyone, today I'm going to be unboxing, set up and test my first display tablet, the Huion Canvas Pro 13 2.6K QHD drawing tablet. This is going to be an upgrade from my old Wacom tablet that I've been using for almost 6 years now. So I think it's about time for a new one, especially for a sculpting in Blender. First off, let's talk about the packaging. It's clean and professional, giving us a sneak peek of what's inside. Now let's open this up. Here we have the uh, tablet itself. It's got a slick design and feels quite sturdy. Feels solid since the front and back are made of aluminum. The tablet size is just about right. It doesn't take up too much space on your desk and you can easily carry it with you on the go. There are seven customizable buttons on the side so you can assign your application shortcuts to boost your productivity. So inside the box it also comes with one artist glove. It comes with 3 in 2 cable for more stable connection to your PC, 1 USB cable extension, 1 USB power cable, 1 USB C to USB C cable. It also comes with the ST200 model Huion stand. This stand can be adjusted into 6 angles to meet your needs. Here is your drawing pen with the Pentec 3.0, which is the Huion's latest technology. It kind of looks similar to my old Wacom pen with two buttons on the side. It also supports 60 degrees tilt function and it features 8192 levels pressure sensitivity, 5080 LPI pen resolution and it is uh, battery free. Here is your manual. It also comes with a cleaning cloth. Here is your donut shaped pen holder. It is also a storage for your 10 black and white replacement nibs. So let's go ahead and set this up to my PC. I'm going to be using the 3-in-1 cable for more stable connection. And let's turn this tablet on for the first time. To install the driver, just go to their official website, huion.com. Over over support tab, click download tenor. From this page, you can search your model or simply click on the device category at the bottom, pen display. Next, select product series, Canvas Pro. Then select product name next to it, which is the Canvas Pro 13 2.5K. On the next page, it will give you three download link for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux driver. Just download your driver and install it. After installing the driver, just open your Huion app. And if you have multiple monitors like mine, just choose the monitor from the selection to assign your tablet's main display. To adjust your digital pen sensitivity, just go to Digital Pen tab, select Pressure Sensitivity Adjustment and just drag the diagonal line to modify the default settings. You can also uh, select from the 5 presets in the middle for a quick adjustment. The stylus is impressively responsive, making every stroke feel natural. It feels better comparing to my old non-display tablet. Latency is excellent as well as tilt and pressure. One of the reasons why I upgraded to display tablet is Blender sculpting. I recently started getting into sculpting in Blender so I think I can get more precise and accurate when using this display tablet compared to my old non-display Wacom tablet. Since this is my first display tablet, I can't really give a comparison from other brands aside from my old Wacom NAND display tablet. If you ask me if it's better than using the NAND display tablet, yes it is way better especially when you're sculpting. The 2.5 display is looking really good in the eye, making the whole sculpting experience more enjoyable. It looks like you're in contact with the clay all the time you sculpt. There are two things I didn't really like about this product. The cables that came with it are too short for my setup. My CPU is under my desk, so I still need an extension to reach my CPU connection. The second thing is it didn't come with a power adapter. You need to use your own USB power adapter, and if you don't have one, you need to buy one if you're considering to get this device. After spending some time with the Huion Canvas Pro 13 2.5K, as for my first tablet, so far so good. The display is gorgeous, the pen is responsive, and the overall build quality is top notch. Whether you're a professional artist or hobbyist, this tablet is definitely worth considering. So uh, that's it for this video. If you want to check out this tablet, I added the link in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one.